welcome to bsc statistics students in this class i explain in the post optimal analysis that is sensitivity analysis the changes in the right hand side constants that is bi or it is also called uh, that is all the constants b1 b2 bm which are in the requirement vector the vector is called requirement vector if any changes in the right hand side constants that is in the requirement vector and what would be the uh, optimum solution how the optimum solution is going to be maintained uh, for these uh, changes so uh, this is what uh, uh, the, the discussion so for which uh, i am considering uh, a linear programming problem maximize in the matrix form maximize that is equal to cx subject to the constraint ax is equal to b and x is greater than or equal to 0 and uh, here in which uh, a is an ambien real matrix uh, c is a cost uh, coefficient uh, matrix uh, and uh, right hand side b that is b is nothing but right hand side uh, uh, requirement vector right hand side constants uh, vector of the right hand side constants uh, you see b is specified here b1 b2 and so on bk we are specifying and and so on bm uh, in which uh, we are considering the change uh, is going to be considered for bk for example let us suppose that bk is uh, changed is going to be considered it is an m by n uh, vector the column vector of considering uh, all the right hand side constants right in which uh, if you consider any change any change is there in the requirement vector b what would be the optimality condition so obviously if uh, any kind of changes in the requirement vector b the optimality condition the formula that is uh, net evaluation zj minus cj uh, will not be affected that is because zj minus cj formula is cb yj minus cj in which b is not there therefore optimality condition does not affect that is the first thing and uh, any changes in the vector b the optimum solution that is optimum solution xb is equal to b inverse b the formula will be affected which means uh, you have to see the feasibility condition the feasibility condition is going to be affected feasibility means uh, x1 x2 xn greater than equal to 0 that is in which xb xb is going to be considered it is going to be the feasibility uh, condition if you check the feasibility it it gives the optimality right uh, now if one of the now you consider a real problem that uh, in which the constant bk is going to be considered if one of the right hand side constant bk let it be it change it to bk plus delta bk and the that is in the old lpp it is bk in the new lpp we have to consider it is a it was changed as bk plus delta bk that is the reason why we have, we have considered uh, uh, in the b right the requirement vector right hand side constant vector uh, b we have considered b1 b2 bk bm now b star that is uh, changed for the new vector uh, which take place the change in the bk that is b star let us consider b star new vector b1 b2 and so on bk plus delta bk and so on bm so this is what instead of bk now we have considered bk plus delta bk now you see the um, feasible solution if you see the feasible solution xb star let us consider is the new feasible solution uh, it is going to be considered as basic feasible solution and xb star is equal to b inverse b star small b star this is uh, this is capital b capital b is nothing but uh, uh, unit matrix or uh, basis matrix uh, b inverse uh, which will be the same b b star small b star small b star is nothing but right hand side constant vector just now we have discussed so b inverse uh, you consider beta 1 1 beta 1 2 beta 1 k and so on beta 1 m similarly second column beta 2 1 beta 2 2 and so on beta 2 k beta 2 m and so on beta i 1 beta i 2 beta i k beta i m and so on beta m1 beta m2 beta mk beta mm and uh, b star right hand side constant vector new one 
न्यू वेक्टर b1 b2 एंड सो ऑन bk प्लस डेल्टा bk एंड सो ऑन bm सो फॉर व्हिच इफ यू राइट b इफ यू एक्सप्रेस b if you separate b star that is not b b star b star as b1 b2 and so on bk bm plus 0 0 0 and so on delta bk 0 you see here this one it is going to be separated b star it is going to be separated uh, uh, as a addition of two vectors two particular matrices are two vectors as b1 b2 bm bk bm i am consider one particular original matrix plus Zero plus zero zero and so on delta b k zero. Hope you understand. If you add these two, you will get b star. The same b star b one b two b k plus delta b k and so on b m. This is going to be separated like this. What is this? This is original b. That is the old uh, L P P. For old linear programming problem, it is b. Right hand side constants b one b two b k and so on b m. And uh, Uh, this is zero 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 and and so on delta b k and so on zero. If you substitute this uh, part in this particular uh, x b star, so x b star is equal to b inverse multiplied by b plus. This is b plus b star is b plus zero zero and so on delta b k and so on zero and so on zero. So therefore, b inverse into b it is nothing but x b. You multiply these two b inverse into b. It is nothing but x b plus b inverse into zero 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 and so on delta b k and so on zero. For which you have to multiply these two. And uh, this is an uh, m by m matrix. So this is uh, an m by n uh, column matrix. So if you multiply with, you will get m by one matrix. So in which uh, that I am considering. Uh, uh, you see, if you refer here, only the thing if you multiply. The ith one, and if you multiply the this is zero 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 and so on delta b k zero. This is the this is the column which only the element is delta b k. Remaining all zeros. For example, this row multiplied by this column beta i one into zero plus beta i two into zero plus and so on beta i k into delta b k plus and so on beta i m into zero. This is what the answer. so I am considering this is beta k. And this is delta delta b k. That is what I consider the value here. You see here x b plus beta k into delta b k. In which beta in beta k only one element is uh, existed, remaining all zeros. Beta i k multiplied by delta b k. Hope you understand. If you multiply the i throw and this is what the i comma k th uh, element of b inverse i throw and k th column. It is going to be multiplied. So if you multiply with, you will get beta i k into delta b k. You understand what I show it once again. If you multiply this one and not this zero 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 delta b k zero, that is uh, this particular uh, vector, column vector. Then uh, then only the value you will have beta i one into zero plus beta i two into zero and so on. Beta i k into delta b k remaining all zeros. So beta i k into delta b k. That is the value here. I'm we are writing here. So if you write the value, this is x b star is a vector. Now x b i star is a value corresponding to this particular k, corresponding to this particular k. So it is in the i ka i comma k element, i comma k element of b inverse. So that is x b i from this and beta i k delta b k, beta i k delta b k. That is what this one x b i star is equal to x b i plus beta i k delta b k. Clear? This is what the element of X B I star. That is um, the value of X B I star, for which it is going to be. It is satis. It, the feasibility condition is going to be satisfied. For which you see what we are to do. The feasibility condition is going to be maintained. Feasibility of the solution is going to be maintained at any at every iteration. Therefore, X B star must be non-negative. Whatever you consider X B star, X B star must be greater than or equal to zero. So in which x b i the element so this is only element previously remaining all are greater than equal zero because in the old linear programming problem now in the new linear programming problem we have to consider also x b we have to maintain this feasibility to maintain the feasibility x b i star must be greater than equal zero what is x b i star this one x b i plus beta i k delta b k 
I show in the next page, right? So, in which uh, you see here, this is x b i plus beta i k delta b k is greater than or equal to 0. That is x b i star is greater than or equal to 0. For which you have to calculate beta i k delta b k, it is greater than or equal to, if you take x b i right hand side, greater than or equal to minus x b i. And therefore, delta b k, that is what uh, uh, we have to uh, form a condition for this delta b k. Because it is only the change in the uh, right hand side constant b k, b k plus delta b k, delta b k is the change. So, delta b k is greater than or equal to minus x b i divided by beta i k. This is what the value, but uh, it differs uh, and it changes from for the values of uh, beta i k greater than 0, beta i k less than 0. Already we have discussed in the previous uh, case of the uh, changes in the uh, coefficient of the objective function. So, delta b k is greater than or equal to minus x b i by beta i k for beta i k greater than 0. If beta i k greater than 0, then this is greater than this. If beta i k less than 0, delta b k is less than or equal to minus x b i by beta i k. It is less than or equal to for beta i k is less than 0. By taking this, that is uh, in the condition, uh, what whichever the maximum value of this, uh, it is going to be considered as greater than or equal to, then all will be all uh, the va values will be greater than or equal to that is delta b k. Delta b k is greater than or equal to all the values. If one of the maximum value is going to be considered, if one of the minimum value is going to be considered here, then it will be uh, uh, it will be less than if the minimum value is uh, delta b k is less than or equal to one minimum value then obviously it is less than or equal to all the values so that is the reason why condition is going to be formed uh, uh, for different values of i that is you have to remember there is not a one particular value x minus x b i by beta i k it consists uh, all the values of i it is true for all the values of y it should be uh, proved it should be considered for all the values of i that is the reason why the range of delta b k to maintain the feasibility of the current solution would be maximum of minus x b i by beta i k beta i k greater than 0 and uh, uh, less than or equal to delta b k less than or equal to minimum of minus x b i by beta i k for beta i k is less than 0 this is what the condition of delta b k delta b k should lie in this particular interval so that uh, uh, feasibility is going to be maintained so that uh, the optimality condition is going to be existed that is optimality condition is also going to be maintained and of course we have specified that optimality condition that j minus c is always greater than equal to 0 it is all uh, it is always proved so therefore this is what the condition it is required to uh, uh, maintain the feasibility maintain the feasibility and uh, to get the optimum optimality towards the optimality right uh, for the new linear programming problem for the changes in the uh, requirement vector any constant right hand side constants any ki any kind of change in the right hand side constant hope you understand thank you thank you very much